In this episode of Be Hooked Crochet, we're going to learn how to do standing crochet stitches. This is a really great technique for when you need to transition to a new color and you want a clean join or if you need to transition to a new ball of yarn. My name is Brittany and I'll be your guide throughout this tutorial. For recommended supplies and for written instructions, please visit BeHookedCrochet.com slash standing stitches. Let's begin. Standing crochet stitches are used in the situation where you're going to transition to a new color or if you need to transition to a new ball of yarn. The benefit of doing a standing crochet stitch is that we're eliminating that pesky turning chain, that unsightly turn where we're joining the new color especially, it's very visible. Typically what we would do is we would create a slip knot we would slip stitch to our work and chain up a certain number of stitches. And that's how we would make our transition. But of course, that's not a very clean transition. And so standing stitches are here to help you clean up your work. And I'm going to demonstrate how you can do them. So we'll start off with the standing single crochet. We'll just create a slip knot and place that loop on our hook. And then you'll simply insert your hook into the stitch where you want to join. So for me, I'm joining to the edge here. I'll grab my working yarn and pull it through the stitch and then yarn over and pull through two. And that's all there is to it. It pulls our slip knot up so that becomes part of the stitch and we can just work into that just as we would any other stitch. So as we continue to single crochet a couple more stitches, you'll see just how nice these standing stitches are. It looks exactly the same. Well, let's say our pattern calls for half double crochet stitches. How would we do a standing half double crochet? Well, we're gonna begin the stitch the same way. We'll make a slip knot and place that loop on your hook and for a normal half double crochet, we yarn over, right? So we wanna make sure we do that. Just yarn over and insert your hook into the stitch where you want to join. Yarn over, pull up a loop. And then just like any regular half double crochet, we'll yarn over and pull through all three. But it does get a little bit difficult because we're sort of, we sort of have a free stitch here. So what I like to do is steady that tail here in the back. That way it's gonna make it easier for me to yarn over and pull through all three. Then you can release that and you have a normal half double crochet stitch. And again, it looks exactly the same as our regular half double crochet. So we as crocheters, we use double crochet stitches a lot, right? So this is my swatch, I use double crochet stitches. Well, how would we do a standing double crochet? I feel like this is probably gonna be the most useful one. We'll begin it the same way. We'll just make a slip knot, place that loop on our hook, and since we yarn over when we make a normal double crochet, we'll yarn over before we insert our hook into our stitch. then yarn over and pull up a loop. And once again, I'm just going to secure the tail. I'm just holding it at the back side of my work, just with my finger there to secure it so I can pull through these loops just a little easier. Then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So just like a normal double crochet. And there we have a standing double crochet stitch. And yes, it looks exactly the same as if we made our double crochet like normal. So let's take it one step further. Sometimes our pattern requires us to work in treble crochet stitches. I'm using US terms here, so a US treble crochet. How would we do that standing stitch? Well, you probably guessed we're gonna start with a slip knot. And since 
typically we would yarn over twice before starting a treble crochet. We're going to do that too. Then of course you'll just insert your hook into the stitch you want to join to. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Once again, just securing that tail at the back. Then yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. So that's just a standard motion for that treble crochet stitch. And it looks just like normal. So these standing crochet stitches has really taken my crochet to the next level. A color transitions are kind of a, a difficult topic anyways. It's, it's usually very noticeable when we join with a slip stitch and we chain up a certain number of stitches, not to mention the chain is unsightly in itself. So using these standing crochet stitches, I'm able to create much cleaner joins, much cleaner edges, and more professional looking crochet. If you've enjoyed this lesson and you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then you can be notified whenever I have a new crochet video available for you. If you've already subscribed, maybe you know somebody who might also benefit from learning how to do standing crochet stitches. And if that's the case, could I ask you to share this video with them? You can share it on their Facebook page or you could even send the link in an email. No matter what, any support that I have from you guys, I really greatly appreciate Thank you so much for watching me today, and we'll see you in the next episode at Be Hooked Crochet. Bye for now.